I found out about the Femme Theist a few months ago, and I tried to comment on her video regarding this, but I don't think my comment made it through. So, here it is. I've only addressed issues of gender and sexuality as they relate to religion. Then again, theist. Hmm. Anyway, I decided to start off with this, since this is in line with my other linguistic videos. Let's begin. Hey everyone, it's Krista. I'm here to talk about misandry. A lot of people use this word, which is hardly recognized by any legitimate dictionary. I guess Merriam-Webster's isn't a legitimate dictionary, then. According to the FAQ page, the online dictionary, where I found it, is based off the 11th edition of the Merriam-Webster Collegiate Dictionary, published in 2003. Although I do have to concede that this was a fairly recent edition. I have the 10th edition, published in 1998, at home, and misandry does not appear there. Regardless, even if it isn't in a dictionary, that doesn't mean it's not happening. For example, most dictionaries, including the online Merriam-Webster's, don't recognize the word troll as used on the internet. Does that mean there aren't trolls? To imply that there is somewhere some form of cultural, institutional, or relational hatred for males. This is entirely untrue. Really now? Tell me, how is signing up for the selective service system, assuming you live in the United States? As a male, I am required to register and I may be conscripted. Seriously, serving in the armed forces isn't cut out for me. I think this point was brought up by the amazing atheist in one of his videos about feminism. Males all throughout history have been in power, and because they get incredibly frightened when they feel that their power might be slipping, they manipulate language to frame issues differently so as to give themselves leverage. Manipulating language? Really? This is the point I tried to raise in my comment. No. It's a simple derivation from Greek, as many English words have. Here it's the verb miseo, meaning hate, and anir, meaning man. The word anir is usually seen as anger in English from the forms andria, an ending meaning something concerning men, and andr, the stem when forming other forms of anir in Greek. Hating men, simple as that. It doesn't carry any deceptive connotations, nor does it lump multiple issues together. It's also worth noting that you assume only men use this term. This is what is being done when they use this term, misandry. When you're the one in power, as males are, and when you make up the majority that writes all laws, as males do, and when you make up the majority that controls all media, as males do, you cannot be culturally, institutionally, or relationally discriminated against or oppressed. Period. Females are not politicians? Media personalities? So, if this is occurring anywhere in the world, this widespread discrimination against males, which is implied by people who use this term misandry, is widespread the implication, really? Then it's being done entirely by other males, not by women. I'm going to end the video right here. She goes on to speculate about the current usage of the term misandry by men. I'm not going to comment on that right now, since I just wanted to discuss my main point on the creation of the term. I might do a commentary in the future, either on this video or another by the Femme Theist. This has been Sum In on 126, and thanks for watching.